Hello guys, almost addicted here and today I'm just going to build a little dwarven house for you guys. So we start off by three, miss one, 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 you know. And then two diagonal from that. And then one, two, three, two diagonal, one, two. So we're making a circle. One, two, three. That's the shape we should be looking for. So it's four diagonal. One, two, three, four diagonal. Yeah. So now raise it by a number two. So that's three altogether. I have no clue what this is gonna turn out like. It's just completely freestyle, so. Right. Now we're going to get some stone brick stairs and we're going to put them all on the, the outside of the three where the doors are going to be. I'm going to make it like a, a tent maybe, yeah, so like that. Then for the, the corners, I think I'm going to get some stone slab for the middle and then put diagonal, diagonal. So they're all facing the same way as these, and you've got on that side that stairs facing the same way and then you've just got your slab in the middle so facing the same way so the stairs are going out like that and again slab in the middle and then you just repeat every other one middle there we go then I think we should go out like this on all three as well we're just leaving the one gap in the middle Do it all the way around <clears throat> and the same again so but it's the stairs facing the same way but they're a little bright this time so face the same way face the same way slab in the middle so we're kind of getting like a nice dwarven circle whatever dwarven circles look like i don't know i'm making this stuff up as i go along I have no clue. Right, so now you put one on top and pull one out. So put one on top like that, so the stairs facing out like that. And then what we do is we aim at the top part and it'll put it like that. It'll make a tiny. There you go. Boom, boom. We do this for all sides. So stair down properly. Diagonal, diagonal. Just on the three of all the outside. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you you want me to slow down, but just remember you can always um, you can always pause the video if you get stuck and things like that. So there we go. I think that's looking that's quite cool. Right now, so we'll do some doors. We'll, we'll make it so all the doors are really, there's not much option for doors, but I guess that'll do. No, don't you dare. There we go. So it's on the third block in, just at the beginning. So you count one, two, three, and then put the door. One, two, three, door. One, two, three, door. One, two, three, door. One, two, three. Get on that door. Now we're going to put a slab on the top, so it closes the door in. I'll show you what it looks like in the default texture pack after this. This is uh, the natural texture pack, so it's as close as to, but you know, you should be using the natural really, because it just gives it so much more detail than the texture, uh, the default texture pack, and it's pretty much the same. I think we should add some buttons as detail now. So we'll put one on each there for all three. All the way around right let's build this build this up right now on the inside one one on all the three <clears throat> so it should look like that we we'll build this up three I'll try not to make this a, a super long video this is kind of a, a test really you know I haven't really um, I've never done a tutorial and I'm, I'm quite new with all my, my recording gear so I'm still 
still learning myself. Right, I think that'll be okay like that. Yeah. Right, now, we'll pull them out. So, on the outside it should have two. And then you just slap it on top of the, the second one. Do this all the way around. Now for this, bring these two up. So it should look like that and you'll still have your corners showing out. So you do this on all the insides. So you're just bringing up the wall. You're bringing it up one, two, three. So it's just matching with the logs. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, I think we want that facing out like that, that facing out like that. So it's all facing the same way as the wood. So I'll repeat it on all the other sides. It's all facing out and then the slab in the middle. And that's stone slab. Stone brick slab. Even. Yeah, you have to comment below uh, what sort of stuff you want to see. and If you like this tutorial, I think you should get some cobblestone wall. And then just fill these bits up. Just bring a bit of detail to it. bring it in I think I might do it all stone but I could could actually get some um, sort of look okay in the other texture pack get some spruce on it so now we get the in fact I might do it a bit different we'll get some spruce blocks you put one on each I'm just gonna freestyle this this roof put one on each like that and then one on the top to seal it. In fact, we might just close all these in. And yeah, I think we should bring it up two all together. So that's two counting that one. Let's bring it all the way around. And we're going to need some spree slab. Stairs as well, so we put stairs on all of these and all the wood put out. And then we get our slab and then we close it off like this and do it all the way around for the corners as well for these middle bits. So one, two, three on those on top of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you do that so it's all the way around. Right, now we need to start bringing it in a bit. So we start from this middle corner, put one up, delete it. Delete it, what am I about? <laughs> Destroy it. Delete it. I'm not on a computer. And then two, two up. Yeah, there we go. And then one in the middle, delete, exterminate. And then, <laughs> so it's, it's at an angle. And then two up. Hell yeah. And then this time, we want to go three up. But we're doing it from the four corners. What am I doing there? I have no idea. So you delete it. Destroy it, whatever you do. Just smash it in the face. And then you want to start bringing these up. So what you do is you put one there, one there, delete that, put it on, and delete. So it's a diagonal up. And then you just add one to it. So you do the same for this. Just so it, you've got a slope going up. That's, these are on the very corners of these three. It's sloping up like that. So you do that on all four of these. So you're bringing it up to three. Then from these corners, which is from these three ones, you're going up another three. One, two, three. So it 
I've still got the diagonal, I haven't got a block underneath. Three, three. One, two, three. And then what you want to do is add two here on the diagonal ones. Two there, two there. So it looks, should look like that. Okay, now from the middle, bring up another three. Two, three. Can't imagine there's many dwarfs that live in a house like this, but I'm just gonna call it a dwarf. One, two, three on top. So then what you wanna do is go inside it, put one there, one there, one there. And so this is on the so you've got one, two, and then the third one, you put in the, these blocks here, just to fill these up. It's just so you fill in the gap up. You can fill it up, so it kinda, it's the third one, so it's these corners. All right, now for down here, you wanna go one, two, one, two. So you do this for all of them. One, two, one, two. So it's just matching up, so it's just covering over the gap. Then what you want to do is put two at the side, one up top. Two at the side of it, one up. Two at the side, one up like Mario. It's a me, Mario! And then on the inside, so it should look like this from the inside. So it's got where you've got these three here, you've got these three all the way around. What you want to do is fill that in. Right. Now you'll have these. You'll have two, 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 two. You put one there, one there, one there. So you're just covering underneath the gap. This is just so we can get to it to fill it in from the top. So then you fill it up look like that. Back, delete that. So you bring it up, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then you should have the, the one block gap. And what we're gonna do for that, I think, we'll go inside it. I think what we should do for that is we just fill it with oak wood just so it's it's covering and then when it comes to the outside we'll see where the oak is and then we can extend it out so we can go back out through this window here. The back of the top this is where the oak is and we just put these here. Alright, now on top I want to finish it off with maybe some cobble, cobblestone wall and we want spruce fence. This is just for the, the top of it. So you put your cobblestone down and then one, two, three on top. Right, now we can start to detail it. Exciting stuff. Right, now, so you've got one block, two block, third block, you pull out. One, two, that's what she said. So two out there and then one on top. One, two, uh, one, two. You're doing this all the way around. Right, and now above that, I'm gonna put one there and one out. So you're placing one, one stair down normal and then you're aiming at the top so it looks like that. Do that on all these and then you go up again you want to put one there so it's just above these two so it should start to look a bit like this then what we want to do is for the bottom here put it up so it's like a C but with a different one we're just adding like a little 
little tiny bits of detail that you'd probably find on a imaginary dwarven build and then you just put a stair up like that on the ones that you've just put down so it's not actually on it it's just behind it they have to let me know how these tutorials are because i have no clue if they're, they're good bad if i'm not explaining enough or i'm explaining too much just let me know um, and then where you've got this three pattern here what you want to do is put one facing out so it'd be facing out the same way as the one that's pointing in this direction and for this one here so it, it do the same so pointing out that way and you just do it all the way around so on these three patches one there turn one there on the three again one there one there so they're always pointing out one there one there hell yeah now we'll go up to the top that around it's on the top one just like that and then you put the stair facing down this time on this and then we get a stone slab just to finish it off right now we're gonna fill it with spruce fence so starting from the, the very top we're just gonna fill it now it's just so it gives it more detail and then the next bit fill it up to here just on the four corners so two up and then the next one one two one two so the diagonal so it'll be two one, two Next one down, just on the far corner. There we go. Alright, so inside now. I think we need some support beams. So on the third one. So it's not on top of it, it's on top of the where the wood is. Remember you can pause it at any time if it gets too much, so you just Doing it all the way along, it should match the other side. We do the same here. At this side, it should match the other side. So yeah, filling it up like this, it should create a grid. There we go. Then we want to put some floor in. Oh, and what sort of floor does? I don't know. Just put some bedrock or something. I mean, you can do the floor whatever you like. Obviously, that'll destroy the, the door and stuff. But if you want me to um, decorate it inside, you know, leave a comment. If if you want me to to do the inside and make it all, all medieval or something, but I'm gonna leave it like this. So, because you want something for your imagination as well. You wanna. You, you want to add to something yourself instead of just completely copying off someone. Like with this tutorial as well, like even halfway through if you decide, oh I've got a, I've got a little bit of inspiration from this, you know, I'm gonna make my own thing, do it. Do it. You don't have to completely copy what's been taught you. This is kind of like a, it's kind of to give you clues and ideas. I find I give myself inspiration as I build people are, are always asking oh where do you get your inspiration from you must look it up no just i start building and i start getting ideas for inspiration right so put a slab on here so we, we can then put a window on and then we can just fill this with a window we use glass pane and just go all the way to the top for all of them just a simple tutorial for the start um, it's going to get a lot more complex I'm going to have a lot more complex builds this is kind of a just a little tester so there you go I mean you could always just a little example you can always have like you can have roof space there and then you can have a little ladder coming up or a pole 
coming up where you'd have a ladder and you get up to this bit and then you'd have another pole maybe coming from here and then you'd have your little beds around here and stuff and then you climb up and then you've got your own little attic and stuff and then for the attic you can just you know add little bits like little details in here so when people look up maybe a piece of glowstone up there so when people look you know so I'm gonna leave it to you guys because I don't want to do it all and you know this is it's not what I'm all about I'm all about trying to feed you inspiration rather than just giving you something to build but if you do want to see it and um, just leave a comment below and I'm more than happy to do it but there you go a little dwarven house boom kind of looks like an upside down ice cream beautiful okay guys this is it in the default texture pack it kind of you could probably use this at the top of a, a tower maybe or something like that for a castle I was just thinking as well as a dwarven thing but inside I've just made it as um, an enchantment place you come in at the other side so you come in here if you put these here it will be at one your enchantment but if you delete these you get rid of these it goes back to 30 and then you've got your place up here you can go up here and then you can put stuff around there you can have a little bar up here where you sell your mead or whatever yeah you want some mead beautiful well there uh, guys thank you very much for tuning in if you tuned in all the way through thank you so much um, make sure you comment below what you want to see next or I'll do like planes, tanks and um, if you look on my Instagram I do all sorts of stuff, pixel arts and stuff like that so if you just comment below what you want to see I'll take them all in maybe if you want to hit me on Twitter I'll put it all um, in the description okay I'll see you later bye